everybody. Welcome back. I hope everybody's had a really nice weekend. Uh, I did get the chance to do um, a couple of car boats this weekend, but I'll be honest, it wasn't um, very productive. I didn't buy much at all. I got a bit of fabric, but that was about it. <laughs> so today I am sharing my two latest journals. These are um, the journals, you know, I created using Nick the Booksmith's course. Uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, um, that's how I've managed to um, to make these from hand, uh, handmade. So, if you're interested in that, it's Nick the Booksmith uh, book course. These are a five and a half by eight and a half, and they've got about a. Um, uh, two and a half inch spine I would say. I'm going to start with this one. This I've named a yellow rose so I'll set that to the side. They're very similar but there are a few little differences and this one I've named the postcard. Okay so these I've done slightly different. Um, the covers have been collaged. They've the spine has had this beautiful, this was an antique, um, well not antique, it was a vintage apron that I picked up at a flea market probably um, a year ago maybe. And I absolutely loved it. Um, and at the time when I purchased it, I didn't think about the sizing of it, and it was so small. I mean, it must have been for a really, really tiny person. So I knew I was never going to use it, and I um, was completely inspired to do this by um, Amity Bloom's recent journals. And she had done her spine kind of similar, um, but she had added a bit more color, and I wanted to keep this very uh, neutral. But I love how it's come out. I'm really pleased because I feel like it showcased the um, material very well. And then on the front, I've just done kind of like a, a big snippet with various uh, vintage laces that I've got. And then this is an image from Seneca Pond. Um, these are postcards that I've cut down. So I will put the link below for that. Um, but as you can see, I've used Music Roll paper, some of Artie May's collage papers that she's recently come out with. I used some old French book pages, um, German book pages, old music, uh, hymnal, just lots of stuff and completely collaged it. Um, and then there's old sewing pattern as well. So you can see it's, um, I love it. I love how these have come out. Um, they came out, you know how sometimes you visualize how you want something to come out, and I'm so delighted that these have come out how I had pictured in my mind. Um, so anyways, let's get going. It's three signatures again, and <clears throat> on the front here I've done a pocket, and honestly guys, um, there is just so many designers in here. I'm not going to list everybody. Um, I will put the link below to Seneca Pond and Artie Mae's collage kits, but everything else is just, you know, bits and pieces I had left over. Here inside I've got, um, this flips over. You've got another pocket with more journal cards. I've done these so that you could add uh, photos. It's like a waterfall. Um, you could do some journaling, add photos, lots of things you could do there. So that flips back over. Here I've done like a little coin pocket and I've tucked that inside. Um, and then behind here I've taken some old trim and put that to a um, tag and that's a dreams etc from her cottage, the cottage rose kit. Um, the pages are from Artie Mae's recent collage kit. And then I've got um, some other ones that are from Antique Papery. 
here is this is one of Artie Mae's freeze um, free tags. They're gorgeous. I love those. <laughs> I love that. And then here I've got a little space where you could put a journaling card. These are some of the little embellishments from Tracy's um, Tiny Embellishments Kit. I've got a German book page in this one. I've got snippet um, tabs in here. Some glass beads that have been put on a... Um, I've um, aged the safety pin and the paper clips. Um, this is the antique papery papers. Everything's been tea dyed. Um, this is some more of Artie Mae's. This is with part of her collage papers kit. Um, old book pages, Edith Holden pages, music uh, paper. Here I've, I've upcycled a um, old mailer, and then I've just made this with some trim underneath. And this has actually got three pockets on this. Um, you probably won't be able to see it, but. You've got the first one, and then there's two more pockets on the back there. Very shabby chic, if you hadn't already tweaked that. <laughs> um, I love this page. Um, so yeah, it was um, a lot of fun to uh, to do this. This is a Edith Holden um, book page envelope and I've just had it floating within the journal so that can easily be moved. Like I said, both journals are, um, they've got the same elements in them but they've just been placed in different places so I will do a really quick flip through on the next one. Um, I've got fabric ruffles in this. Here's a belly band. This is a Tsunami Rose. I do remember that. Um, so you've got a little more germ, journaling space within that. And this is a uh, Nikki inspired tag pocket. She, um, she was so clever to come up with that idea. So thank you, Nikki, for that. Love it. So that can be moved anywhere that you want. I uh, love those papers. These are part of the um, Artie Mae's collage. They are gorgeous. Um, here I've done a vellum pocket with some old trim. And then I've just taken various uh, leftover pieces and just made some tags. Some um, music sheet. Some more old book page, some more snippet tab. Lots of journaling space in here. I believe this has got about 150 pages. Um, old uh, flower book that I had here. I've done a uh, snippet and stitched on an old button. I'll give you a close up of that to a, a fabric tab tag that I've cut out and then this opens up and you've got several journaling cards here. This is an old um, how to type manual. I love that page. Um, that's part of the antique papery and another bit of fabric ruffle. Here's another tuck spot. Um, I think it just, oh. Yeah, a little tuck spot there. Um, this has got various little bits of ephemera. I've just tucked in there, a little cutout tea cup and saucer. Um, and then in here you can do some writing and on the back here I've left this so that you've got actually got a pocket behind as well so another old old book page there um, here I've just made a little notepad out of the leftover um, papers that I had 
just a little ruffle that I've stitched and uh, so you've got tuck spot on the top and the bottom. Um, I've done piano um, music roll paper pockets and this has got a pocket behind and here and then I've done a little fussy cut flower and another little journal card. Lots of stitching. And then here, another handmade tag. And some sewn pocket. This is an old um, cross stitch book, I believe. This is just a little bulb pin with a bell on it. Or snippet tab. <coughs> This is a um, Tracy Fox altered, well she, it's a file folder um, kit that you can purchase from Tracy's shop, but I put two copies per page so that it would come out really small, and I love that size. I think that is just precious, and it really went nice with this, because you've got the wood grain and the lace. Um, so yeah, I love that size. That's probably how I'm going to be using these going forward because um, I, I just prefer the smaller sized um, file folders. Um, and then this is an altered, um, it's like a snippet banner um, paper clip. I love these pages. So yeah, I just... Um, Got all of my items out and anything that was kind of in my mind shabby chic. Um, this is an uh, Edith Holden uh, cookbook page. Um, I just put everything together because um, I like the fact that it's not matched so much, but yet yeah, everything coordinates really nicely. Um, little various <coughs> tags and journal cards and then this is a um, like a weekly planner page very shabby chic so each of them have those and then these were um, some cards I bought years ago from um, Tuesday morning and I love those. They're just so pretty. And I thought, oh, that really would be cute. And then that can flip over. And I think I kept this one open in the back as well. Yeah. So you've also got a um, little pocket area back there as well. But I thought that was really cute. A little bit of bling. And then here is one of those. It's like a floral postcard. I got a whole stack of those from one of the local craft stores here. It's just remembering stuff. I'm terrible if it gets put in a drawer. Um, I just uh, out of sight, out of mind with me. So this on the back, I've just made a big um, pocket um, here. Got two pockets here that I've filled with some um, journal cards and things. And then this has all been glued down. Oh, that's on the top. This has all been glued down, and then I've just held it. Um, closed with some Irish linen thread. So that is the postcard. Uh, let me see the back again. I just love how these have come out. I love this uh, material. It is beautiful. And then very, very quickly, guys, I will show you um, a yellow rose. Same thing, it's, it's all been collaged with various book pages, some of um, Artie May's collage papers. This is um, a bit of hers, and then various book pages, some sewing, um, pattern paper. I love it. Really, really happy with these. And the same thing up here. Um, you've got, um, this is a old... Um, Time, time card, time card, that's it. And I've printed um, 
I've run that through the printer. I should have pointed that out because there's one in the other journal as well. And then just various um, tags and journal cards from my stash. Yeah, that was another word that did not want to come to me. Oh, it's getting very scary. <laughs> and here's some more little journaling cards here. And same thing here. I did a waterfall so that you could just um, add photos or uh, notes, anything you want to do with that. And same thing here, we've got the coin envelope that opens, and here I've stuck the little extra notebook pad in this one. Slowly, slowly I'm getting through my stash of papers, but I'm going to have a big, big push um, in the next couple weeks to try to... Um, do some smaller journals so that I can try to use up um, I've got papers that I just um, I really need to start getting through and clearing because I'm kind of um, downsizing um, I just have too much stuff and I really want to this next month I want to really focus on doing some um, you know, one signature journals and just using up uh, things. So you guys be watching um, for new things to be added. This is another, um, this is a, this is the postcard that I used on the front from Seneca Pond. I'll put the link below to those. Those are beautiful, beautiful images. And then on this one, I've done this little journal card so that it will show through. So yeah, you guys be watching because as, as quick as I can get them made, I'm going to be adding them to the um, the shop. What I'll probably do is do a video, you know, when I get my first batch, I'll probably do a video showing. But um, after that, I'll just be adding them. So do keep an eye on my shop. Um, and anybody that has subscribed to my store, um, yeah, I still haven't quite figured out how to... Um, send out notification for when new items have added because I my worry is I don't want to be bothering people who have subscribed. I don't want them to feel like, oh, I'm going to start getting lots of notifications from this place. Um, so don't don't be concerned about that. Just You just will physically have to just keep checking my, my store uh, and I will add them as soon as I possibly can. And like I said, just various book pages. Um, this is another of the little um, tag ideas from Nikki. And then this is another little, we've got a double tuck spot. Oh goodness, I'm running out of time. I'm just going to very quickly let you guys see. I'll not pull things out because, yeah, it's still got vellum pockets just like the other one. I did the same thing on the snippets. Um, and this is the old typewriter manual. It's more shabby chic papers. Here's another of the, and I've got some journal cards. More fabric ruffle, various little bits and pieces, and um, pocket behind there so you can add something. Another little tuck spot here. How pretty is that? I love that color. <coughs> this is another pocket behind here and a little tuck spot that I've just added a couple, a couple of things to. Uh, like I said, there's about 150 pages, so there's lots of writing space. This journal would last uh, quite a while. Um, the papers are um, 100 GSM, so they're very thick um, papers that I've printed out on. Um, another one of the little uh, mini file folders, same thing inside. The German book page. And this has got a pocket behind as well. Okay. 
add here just a bit more, a couple more pockets. Here's a little tuck spot. And then on the back, I've got this. And you've got a pocket here and two pockets here that are full of little tags and journal cards. So there they are, guys. Those are in the shop. Um, and I'll put the website below. And I will list um, Artie Mae's collage kit. Um, it's papers. Yeah, you get papers, collaged papers, and then I will list uh, Seneca Ponds to these postcards. So you guys can check those out if you're interested. And I appreciate you so much stopping by today. I hope everybody's having a great start to the week. And um, I will be back uh, hopefully mid to the end of the week with, um, with the tutorial. So I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.